Hello everyone. My name is Priyanka Srivadhan. Today we are going to discuss about number systems. Before we start number systems, please subscribe my YouTube channel and you can get more information, more videos about ICT field. Today we are going to talk about decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. Decimal numbers. That is mostly people use decimal numbers. Let's start with zero and end with one. You have 10 symbols. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And then we have a two type of numbers. First one is a positive number. That is we represent using plus mark. Now here you can see in front of the number we add plus mark. Sometimes we just put the number on. That's also we consider as a positive number. Negative numbers. So negative numbers we represent using minus one. In front of the number we put minus one. And then you have a place value or position value. Now, basically, in decimal numbers, we have 10 to the powers. So start with 10 to the power 0 and it goes 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4 and it goes till 10 to the power n. And in the minus sphere, we have 10 to the power minus 1, 10 to the power minus 2, 10 to the power minus 3, 10 to the power minus 4 and it also goes till 10 to the power minus n. And then as you know 10 to the power 0 is 1, 10 to the power 1 is 10, 10 to the power 2 is 100, 10 to the power 3 is 1000 and 10 to the power 4 is 10,000. 10 to the power minus 1 is 1 divided by 10. 10 to the power minus 2 is 1 divided by 100. And also 10 to the power minus 3 is 1 divided by 1000. And also 10 to the power minus 4, that's we can represent 1 divided by 10 to the power 1 divided by 10,000. Now let's see. You know. Here we have a value. That value we can call it as 5286. So how we can get the value? That is the most important thing. Here. The number multiplied by position value. So 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power 2. And then 8 multiplied by 10 to the power 1 and at last we have 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 0. So we calculate the value 5 multiplied by 1000, 2 multiplied by 100, 8 multiplied by 10 and 6 multiplied by 1. So we are taking the total 5280 and 6. So altogether total will be 5286. That is how we are getting the value. And now the second number system we call as binary number system. So most of the digital devices we have binary number system. That's we have only two digits that is 1 and 0. Now, here also we have a position value that is starting with 2 to the power 0. In the positive side, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 4. In the minus side, we have 2 to the power minus 1 and then we have 2 to the power minus 2, 2 to the power minus 3, 2 to the power minus 4. 
and that also goes till 2 to the power minus n. The values as 2 to the power 0 is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, and 2 to the power 4 is 16. In the minus, 2 to the power minus 1 is 1 divided by 2, 2 to the power minus 2 is 1 divided by 4, 2 to the power minus 3 is 1 divided by 8, and 2 to the power minus 4 is 1 divided by 16. Now let's see, there's a number 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. That is a binary number. So, you can see 2 is there and that is base value. So, using that base value, you know that is a binary number. And we want to convert binary number into the decimal. How we can do that? Let's see, I have a number 1, 0, 1, 1. So, I will write a little bit spread manner 1, 0, 1, 1. And then I will write position value 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. And what I am doing is number multiply by position value. So, I use 1 multiplied by 1 because 2 to the power 0 is 1. 1 multiplied by 2 because 2 to the power 1 is 2. And 0 multiplied by 4 because 2 to the power 2 is 4. And 1 multiplied by 8, 2 to the power 3 is 8. And then we are getting 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1. Now, total is 13. So, you are getting a decimal number. Now, I want to convert decimal values into the binary format. Let's see. The given decimal number we have to divide it by 2. And then, separately, we are keeping the remaining value as well. Now, let's see. 21 divided by 2. So, answer is 10 and remaining value is 1. And again, divided by 2. So, answer is 5, but this time I don't have any remaining value. Again, divided by 2. Now, answer is 2, remaining value is 1. Again, divided by 2. Answer is 1. Now I don't have remaining value. And again divided by 2, 0 remaining value is 1. Now what I am doing is, starting from the bottom, scores to the top, I am writing the value. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And you can see the base value is 2. That's the way we are going to convert decimal numbers into the binary value. Let's see the octal number. In the octal numbers, we have 8 digits that is starting with the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, when we consider about position value, here you have 8 to the power 0, 8 to the power 1, 8 to the power 2, 8 to the power 3, 8 to the power 4 and that also goes till 8 to the power n as a positive values. And the minus side, 8 to the power minus 1, 8 to the power minus 2, 8 to the power minus 3, 8 to the power minus 4, that also goes till 8 to the power minus n. And as you know, 8 to the power 0 is 1 and you have 8, 64 and 8 to the power 3 is 512 and 8 to the power 4 is 4096. The same as in the minus side, 8 to the power minus 1 is 1 divided by 8, 8 to the power minus 2 is 1 divided by 64, 8 to the power 3 minus 3 is 
1 divided by 512 and 8 to the power minus 4 is 1 divided by 4096. You can see I have value 7051 and here the base value is 8. Now you know this is octal number not the other number format. Now let's see I want to convert octal number into the decimal numbers. So what we are doing is we are getting the value. Now this is my octal number and I write the octal number and each place I am writing the position value. Now you can see I write about position value and what I am doing is the digits multiply by position value. 1 multiplied by 1 because 8 to the power 0 is 1. 5 multiplied by 8 because 8 to the power 1 is 8. 0 multiplied by 64 because 8 to the power 2 is 64. And 7 multiplied by 512 because 8 to the power 3 is 512. Now I am getting the total and then once I got this arm, I can take the decimal value. That is the way we are converting octal numbers into the decimal numbers. Now let's see. I want to convert decimal numbers into the octal. That is simple. What we are doing is we give given decimal value, we divided by 8 and separately we are maintaining the remaining values. Now I have a 659. So I write the value and divide it by 8. Answer is 82 and remaining value is 3. And again I divide it by 8. You can see answer is 10. Remaining value is 2. Again divided by 8. Answer is 1, remaining value is 2. And again divided by 8, uh, answer is 0 and remaining value is 1. So, starting from the bottom, and this goes to the top, I'm writing my octal number as 1, 2, 2, 3. That is octal number. Finally, I have hexadecimal numbers. Basically, hexadecimal number is something different because you have a 16 symbols. Here, you can see starting from 0 and it goes till F. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And no 10, you have A, B, C, D, E, F. So, A will be represent 10, B will be represent 11, C will be represent 12, D will be represent 13, E will be represent by 14 and F will be represent by 15. Now, here also you have positional value. Starting from the 2 to 16 to the power 0, 16 to the power 1, 16 to the power 2 and same as 16 to the power minus 1, 16 to the power minus 2, 16 to the power minus 3, 16 to the power minus 4. That is also goes till n. And 16 to the power 0 is 1 and 16 to the power 1 is 16 and then 16 to the power 2 is 2, 5, 6. The same as the minus sign 1 divided by 16 and 16 to the power minus 2 is 1 divided by 256. Now, look at this. I have 7a1. But you can see the base value is 16. Now, this is base value and this is hexadecimal now. Now, I want to convert 
hexadecimal numbers into the decimal format. Let's see. First, I will write down the number C A1. You can see C A1 that is available. And then what I am doing is I will write the position value. Fine. Now you know 1 multiplied by 1 because 16 to the power 0 is 1. Now look at A. Now what is A? A will be represented by 10. Therefore, 10 multiplied by 16. And then after that, what is C? C will be represent 12. 12 multiplied by 256 because 2 to the power 6. 6 to the, 16 to the power 2 is 256. Finally, I am calculating the total. Now, my decimal value will be 3233. Fine. Let's go. I want to convert decimal to hexadecimal number. Same as previous, given decimal value, I will divide it by 16 and separately I am maintaining the remaining values as well. Look at this. My value is 650. Now what I am doing is I will divide 650 by 16. Now answer is 40 remaining value is a actual remaining value is 10 but 10 will be represent a and then again 16 answer is 2 remaining value is 8 again divided by 16 answer is 0 remaining value is 2 and starting from the bottom and it goes to the top I'm writing the value is 28a answer is 16 now so far we discuss basic number systems I believe you will understood very clearly if you have any doubts please email me the below mentioned email as well as don't forget please subscribe my youtube channel Thank you very much. See you in next video channel.